Hello friends. So today I am going to show how to use MCP, specifically MCP Playwright, to go through web and create your own research agent. So if you have seen Deep Research, what it tries to do is it tries to go to web, collect all the links, and at the end come up with a report. So similar kind of thing we are going to build with this particular MCP Playwright. So what we are going to do is we are going to use MCP Playwright to go to different links. So what I will be doing is I will paste a topic and I will be pasting a topic based on some merger and acquisition news which happened few months ago. And what it is going to do is it is going to go to the web. It is going to go to the search engine, collect all the URLs and post that it will summarize it and we are going to put it into a markdown file. So that's what we are going to do today. So let's get started. So here are the prerequisite which is required. So first of all, you should have copilot in agent mode. I already set up in agent mode. So you need to install the latest Visual Studio code to have this enabled. Again, for me, I have configured which model to use since I already have subscriptions for, for both Azure OpenAI as well as an OpenAI. So you have to do that. And once that is done, what we are going to do is we are going to go to this particular URL. It's by Microsoft and it contains the MCP server for the Playwright. So Playwright is a browser automation tool. And what we are going to do is we are going to install this MCP here. So I just click on this and it is going to open the Visual Studio code and it's going to ask me should we install the servers. I say install the server. It says okay. I will install this server. And again I have to restart. So once I start then I can start giving it commands. Now what I can do is it has given all the setup. So what next I'm going to do is I'm going to next type some commands here and it it already have many tools available. So with this play route, play right server running, you have around 25 tools and these tools, you know, uh, in have things, for example, going to a particular URL, navigating there, then, you know, clicking at some specific place, finding out the content and all. So there are along, almost 25 tools. Let's see. So here I am. So I have this Visual Studio code open. So this is the chat window. And what I can see is I'm just going to start my MCP server. So what is going to happen is if I go to new as such and select agent mode, what I can see is I have 53 tools available. And if you see, I have this MCP server running, which has almost 25 tools, which corresponds to different events like going to a particular page, clicking some particular page and all. So that's what's happening. So let me go and open Bing. So I will just say navigate to bing.com. And let's see what happens. It says navigate. So it opened this specific page. And what is going to happen is now I'm going to give it a specific event which I am interested in. So, for example, I was interested in, you know, one of the event which happened, which was there was a merger acquisition talk between Nissan and Honda. So, fetch, you know, all news article on Nissan and Honda. So let me see uh, if I can pull this off. So, okay, so I'm just going to press fetch all news articles on Nissan. It says browser type, okay. So it went through this, you know, and it opened. So it says, okay, I have opened this. This is our talking about, you know, different things which happened because of Nissan and Honda. And I believe this was this merger was a failure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to uh, 
summarize or put you know first two links in a text file let's see if it can do that interesting so because of the previous run i already have this specific file so it used this specific file but nevertheless it created or i would say appended this what i'm going to do is let me pull out this summary i just run it prior to this so that's why it is putting all the links but let me so it already have put all the links in this specific file so this file is here newslink.txt what i'm going to ask it is i'm going to ask it to also generate a summary and put it in same file as mark down now just remember that you know some of the time this is not totally deterministic so sometimes prompt will run sometimes prompt will not run but let's see what are the end output so it is going to all the links i believe and generating a summary okay so but but it didn't went through all the links it just created summary from you know these citations only from this mini text only so let me try to tell it to go to each link navigate to first two links and summarize let me see what happens okay so it is saying go to browser navigate okay so it started going to each one of them which is exactly what i wanted and it is updating the text in terms of markdown so again i just asked it for do it to do it only for the first two but again it can go to all the web links and try to do that okay so now it has a better result so in this text file it has all the news links and it has also some sort of summary with potential collaboration merger collapse again this news is true initial announcements and termination of mru already mentioned so i think thanks for watching this is again very draft in very draft stages but at least it was able to generate a draft report for me so thanks team thanks for watching bye